Hello, welcome back to another epic adventure at Weaver Stone House Farms. And today we're uh, finally getting to something. Uh, I got other stuff cleared off my plate that needed done. Um, and we're getting uh, to this. <clears throat> uh, most of you have probably never seen a box like this in your life. There's a reason for it. Uh, there's a unique surprise inside. Um, and this, as far as I'm concerned, this box and then the other parts and pieces that go with it, um, it it's it's pretty significant to us. So uh, it's going to make a big difference. Uh, and it, it, yeah. So let's take a look. Let's take it apart. Now, one of the other things, we've had this covered up for a while. Um, there was a, another cardboard cover over top of it. We took it off so we can inspect it many months ago to make sure it was okay in shipping. Uh, but I want you all to notice the crating. Um, the skid itself is okay, but the crating, I mean, this is angle iron. You can see that. So it's heavy duty crating um, because they care about their product. So, you know, it's one of those, there's a lot of money invested in it and they wanted to make it to the customer intact, which it did. So that's awesome. Right, so we got the top off some of you may based on this picture be able to tell what it is uh, but I'm not going to say those words just yet uh, but it, we did uh, we got the bigger motor we got the 14 horse Let me show you some of the big add some solid steel <laughs> so there's some more parts and pieces oh man all right this is out of one box that was that first box you saw. There's some pieces out there. All right, let's take a better look down in here. Oh man, look at that. Some big stuff going on. There's some pretty big angled posts. Look at that. Man, those are big. Okay, so here's just some of the parts and pieces. Uh, we got the track extension with it too. Uh, got stuff sitting a little bit everywhere. So we can go ahead and get that track together and get this going. All right, so there it is. You can see it. If you don't know, you might want to start Googling. <laughs> uh, it's a sawmill. It's a 26 inch sawmill, Woodland Mills. We did a lot, I did a lot of research looking and I went and talked most especially to a uh, neighbor, neighbor-ish, uh, a couple miles down the road, but um, he has one of these and absolutely loves it. So I looked at it and said, you know what? We're getting one. So we did. Um, so this is, this is gonna make a significant impact on the farm. And one of the things I actually wanna thank uh, Joel Salatin um, for his books and especially his one with uh, all the projects uh, in it, drawn out. Uh, Cause reading through it, it's one of those things, you need a sawmill on a farm. I'm absolutely abundantly aware of this now just so you can make buildings and stuff and just not have to be buried in lumber costs. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a bright future here. <laughs> 